Unfortunately, I'm quite short, so my voice is going to have to reach you. But my name is Stevie Wara, and I'm chairman of the Board of Trustees here at the Neon Museum. And it's my absolute pleasure to welcome you all here tonight, and thank you for coming. You know, as a Las Vegas native, I truly appreciate the importance of not only preserving Las Vegas history, but showcasing it. Things change here so much. You blink and in this place looks completely different. And it's our job to make sure we preserve that history and share it with current generations and future generations to come. So we really appreciate the Plaza Hotel and Casino who has an equal appreciation for preservation of our history here in Las Vegas. And thank you to you know preserving this sign and adding this beautiful piece to our collection. Due to that, we now have a great story we can tell, another piece of history that we can share about our city, four generations to come and two generations to come. So I wanna thank Jonathan Jossel and the Plaza Hotel and Casino for adding this beautiful piece to our collection and for the you know true appreciation for preserving the history of our city. So with that, I now want to welcome the wonderful Aaron Berger, our executive director, who works tirelessly day in, day, day in and day out, morning and night, to meet the mission of the Neon Museum. And he will share some history with you today. So thank you guys again all for coming. Thank you, Stevie. As Stevie said, I'm Aaron Berger. I'm the executive director here at the Neon Museum. This is an incredibly special night. Uh, I am so honored and thrilled to be here. Uh, it has been three years since the last time the Neon Museum has been able to light a sign. Um, this is my first lighting as executive director, so it's exciting for me to be a part of it. It is also really special that it's this sign. This sign is an incredibly unique and special one because it represents several things. First is that the sign itself is from the Plaza Hotel, which is situated on probably the most historically significant site in Las Vegas. Yeah. Thank you for that. In, insert applause here, that's perfect. Um, and that's absolutely true. This is an incredibly important location because this was the train depot that established our city in 1905. So add that to the fact that this was the first property, the largest hotel in the world at one point, and, and then added to that, it became the first property downtown to have female table dealers, blackjack dealers, and other table uh, uh, dealers that were working. So these types of things were major milestones that grew out of this incredible property behind me. Now, the designer of this piece is Charles Bernard. Charles Bernard did the Sassy Sally's sign that's to my left over there. Um, and was a designer of that. You may also know Charles Bernard's work um, because he did Vegas Vicky. Anybody know Vegas Vicky? Mm -hmm. yeah, let's hear a little bit of applause for Woo! Vegas Vicky. There we go. Okay, great. So Charles Bernard designed this as well. And when doing this and creating the facade for this piece, uh, for this, uh, for the Plaza property, he wanted to do something that created a waterfall effect. And that waterfall is done in lights. So it's an amazing transformation that's brought there together, and it's just, it's lovely. So to be able to tell the history, the story behind the property itself and the sign, it's absolutely wonderful. I want to echo Stevie's comments of, of great thanks to Jonathan and to the Plaza for being so generous for this. I also want to point out Jesse Hartlauer and the Hartlauer team that did the restoration on this sign. And now, without further ado, Jonathan Jossel. Uh, good, good evening, everyone. I'm Jonathan Jossel. I'm the CEO of the Plaza Hotel and Casino. Thank you, uh, Stevie. Appreciate the kind words. Thank you, Aaron. Uh, 
this beautiful museum over here. What you guys are doing is wonderful. And of course, thank you to the whole Plaza team that's here with me tonight, Woo! not just for helping, <laughs> not just for helping to uh, put the sign right here, but to help bring back the Plaza brand, to make the Plaza relevant, to make it so that everybody wants to be a part of it. And I thank you all for your hard work uh, in doing so. And Aaron, it's been a, a pleasure working with you on this project. I met you about a year ago, but your passion and enthusiasm for downtown is wonderful. And congratulations on your first sign light, and I hope it's a good one. It is. <laughs> so um, this sign was on the plaza, uh, east wall facing over Main Street. It was there up until about 10 years ago. It came down. It sat in storage. Um, it was uh, collecting dust in storage and didn't have much of a purpose. We tried to figure out what to do with it. And uh, one day over coffee, Aaron and I had met about a year ago, and it was actually less than nine months ago, and he said, um, that sign's on social media. You should do something with it. And uh, here it is, Aaron John Tonnet with the team, Michael Tajeri, our director of facilities, went straight downstairs, secured it. Thank you, Michael. And, uh, during the meeting. During the meeting, he, he went down and took dimensions. That's true. Um, and, 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 and to be honest, it deserves to be here because I came through the museum about a few months prior to that a few times, and I was very offended that the plaza wasn't represented here. You have every great property. Uh, you have a lot of history. This museum does a wonderful job in, in sharing history, but no history of Las Vegas is complete without the plaza. Yeah. 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 And Aaron touched on a lot of that history, but just to point out, it is one main street. It's the first address in Las Vegas. It's where the train depot. There's probably some historians here who are going to correct me, but since, <laughs> if you're thinking this is wrong, don't speak now. Just tell me afterwards. <laughs> but um, but the, the train depot stopped there. The settlers got off there in 1905. We, um, we, the plaza was built in 1971 as the largest hotel and casino in the world at the time. It's been, uh, it was built by Jackie Gorn, who was really the pioneer of downtown Las Vegas in many ways. Everything that's happening in downtown today should go back to the history of what Jackie Gorn stood for and did uh, to, 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 with the plaza, but all of the properties that he developed. And then in 2005, of course, it was bought by Tamaras. Our chairman, Poyu Zabladovich, is very committed to the plaza and uh, is thrilled with the way the brand is developing. And so here we are. Uh, we're committed to the, the property. As you know, uh, and, and Stevie mentioned this, many properties, they demolish, they get torn down, and the history comes to live here. But with the plaza, we're committed to reinvesting in it, rebranding it, and uh, reinventing it. And, and that's why we've undertaken four new projects. Uh, many of you will know the new carousel bar underneath the dome, the new smoke-free casino, the first of its kind in downtown Las Vegas, uh, Pink Box Donuts will be opening up, and then of course Oscars is having a, a new outdoor patio. So those are the four new elements right in the front of the plaza on Main Street. And so uh, we're excited to share this history and uh, be a part of this, and long may it live here in the, in the boneyard. So we thought we'd do it this way. We're going to do a countdown, and Jonathan is going to honor us by flipping the switch, so to speak, um, and I, literally and figuratively. Uh, so we'll do a, a three, two, one, and, and when we hit one, we'll turn. Ready? All right, so three, everybody can join me, please. Three, three two, one. Turn it on. <laughs> and and Hartlauer, thank you for your incredible work on this. Right. I wanted to say that. I wanted to wait to see it before I said thank you. But, but this is this is amazing. Congratulations. Tell them about trying to bend some of that neon. Yeah, they let me try to bend the neon. It's not easy. It's, uh, it's a tough day's work. At this point, please come take photos, enjoy. Oh, like, can we get a photo of you three? Let's get it. Let's do it. Yeah. Please enjoy. Here, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that. Oh, yeah. 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 Yes, <laughs> Will you come with me? 
Oh, hello. Pardon hello. me. Hello. Don't want to ruin anyone's shot here. <laughs> Look at this. Beautiful, right? Look at the pride. I love this. <laughs> <laughs> Pardon me, sir. <laughs> 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 